Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. John, chapter 10, verses 11 to 16. Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man, who is not a shepherd, and whose sheep are not his own, sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the Good Shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Boniface, Bishop and Martyr. St. Boniface was born in the 7th century in Anglo-Saxon England and was a key figure in the missionary efforts of spreading the faith in Germanic regions of the Frankish Empire. St. Boniface was martyred by a group of unbelievers in Frisia, modern-day Netherlands, on Pentecost Sunday. I am sure that St. Boniface's life resonated with what it meant to be like the stone that got rejected by the builders, especially as he was martyred from those who saw him as an enemy. So this prompts the question, who do we see as an enemy and vice versa? In answering this question, it is critical to note that the etymology of the word enemy is from the Latin word inamicus, which the prefix in means not, and amicus means friend. So one's enemy is someone who is considered as not a friend. And one benchmark of what defines friendship is familiarity. We cannot be friends with someone we don't know, and true friendship takes time and patience to build. So in this sense, the enemies in our lives can very well be those whom we are unfamiliar with and not bothered to get to know. In general, I believe people are decent-natured and are not hell-bent on harming everyone they come across. Of course, there are rare exceptions to this, but broadly speaking, whatever enmity and hostility is present between persons are due to our lack of understanding and familiarity with the other. And as Christians, we are called to love our enemies, which can mean to make this effort to get to know others who have backgrounds, ideas, and experiences different to ours. So especially during these polarizing times, where racial divides are tearing at our nation. Let us ask the Spirit to guide us and give us the courage to reach out to those who may be different than we are by making the effort to cross the divide of unfamiliarity and get to know the human being on the other side. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and wonderful day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at marynollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marynollmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.